Well, this is the very first national para sports. And like I said, it's trying to bring the, the mandate of the Ministry of Youth and Sports in alignment with uh, the vision of Mr. President. Under Mr. President, President Mamadou Buhari, we've had the Disability Act signed into law. We've had the establishment of uh, the Disability Commission. At the National Assembly, we have committees chaired by our lawmakers. So this in, uh, is in alignment with that. We believe, like I said, there's ability in their disability. The most recent Olympics, we saw what they did. They gave us our greatest number of gold medals. Previous Olympic, they did the same thing. At the Commonwealth, the same thing. If there's no competition, no athletes can improve and excel. And we felt that they deserve their own special uh, national sports competition. Don't also forget, in December last year, this ministry created for the very first time a department for para-athletics. I do not know how to express my uh, sincere appreciation for the turnout first and foremost. And seeing close to around four to five honorable ministers and um, about three chief of um, staff being um, present at this occasion. Uh, it gives a very great omen, meaning that the Nigerian government are actually interested in this. Um, their being around um, has really has set the ball rolling. In fact, I was so impressed that the Federal Minister of uh, Youth and Sport organized the first para festival. So my expectation from my state is that we are all prepared and we came here to win a lot of medals. We want to back home with medals. Thank you. All right. The Naval team will play and the athletes will match to meet the minister in that order. Thank you. National Para Sports Festival. The first time the Nigerians will be able to see para sports men and women gathering at the MKR Beola Stadium for their own festival. Good world there. At least uh, kudos to the organizers and also the Federal Minister of Media and Sport allowing this particular opportunity be given to the para sports men and women there. Well, we just have to appreciate the fact that these athletes are given the chance to showcase their talent. Welcoming you on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adini Ajishafe. Well, uh, that's actually started on Saturday, where all the athletes from different states in Nigeria, including FCT, gather at the MKR Beola Stadium to uh, showcase what they have for Nigerians when it comes to para sport. About 15 sports where they will be competing uh, uh, to showcase their talent there. They will be competing in uh, para swimming, uh, deaf sport, not forget the para athletes. Uh, a lot of uh, activities there. But uh, the good thing right now is that the para sportsmen, they are very happy that they have this uh, platform to showcase their talent. Unlike the is here. Good to have you. Yeah, good morning. Good to be here again. Good one. Now, let's uh, look at this particular opportunity given to para sports. Uh, you look at for a while now, we've been having a sports, national sports festival, but this time around, it's national uh, para sports festival. For the first time in Nigeria, uh, a lot of uh, at least 37 states, uh, rather 36 states plus FCT will be coming up. And now, uh, the good thing is that these para sports, 
uh, festival has been able to at least, uh, a lot of people have been able to see that, oh, so we can actually do this. So all this why we have not been celebrating these uh, great men and women who actually have been showing their strength, that there is ability in disability. No, it's a good one. Kudos to the ministry for uh, bringing this uh, particular festival up. Uh, let's, take a, let's take a look back to Olympics. Uh, Paralympics. We saw our Nigerian, the, our Nigerian athletes always perform when at the Paralympics, the weightlifting, they win more medals than the able bodied. And uh, we've had over 22 editions of uh, National Sport Festival, and this is the first edition for the para sport. It's to, it's to give these athletes that uh, sense of belonging that it might be disabled, but then you still have, you still have that ability, to, of course, to do to give to us what able men and women cannot do. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's almost like a like a rehearsal for them to pick the best players that represent athletes rather that represent Nigeria at the Olympics at the Commonwealth Games as well too because we have so much talent when it comes to para 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 games and uh, I want to give kudos to the ministry for you know, for bringing up this and thankfully of course to the head of service for approving this mm. but they approved it. And of course, the ministry brought it up and they approved it, and of course, it's, it has come to life. So kudos to the government for that. Now, uh, while the opening ceremony was ongoing, I remember 17 states was on ground, but mm -hmm. as at Sunday, a lot of states have joined them. Mm -hmm. At least uh, we're looking at 36 uh, states now coming. Uh, but I love the fact that uh, uh, all hands actually uh, have been on deck for these uh, games to come up, where uh, this seems to be our strength when it comes to medal right now, because in para sports, we, we win a lot of, especially para, para power lifting. Oh, those those guys are just too good. Hmm. They, when it comes to all this para, that's when they win. The last, uh, the last uh, Olympics, I think they got about six gold medals. Eight. Eight, eight, okay, eight gold medals. medals. And uh, over six silver and there about. The bulk came from the weight. Uh, para the, power lifting. Yeah. So, we, so, you know, the, the, their legs, of course, is weak, but up here is strong. So, but this is what the good men and men could not do, even when it comes to weightlifting. So it's just to give, I, I'm just happy that at least they'll feel among the few blessed, the few appreciated. That, that's what I, that's yes, at least even though this is what happening, but the, the government has recognized us and uh, we look forward to get to get the best play, the best athletes that will fly the that will fly Nigerian's flag at the national level. We can get them from this particular set of players who have athletes, sorry, who have come from all the states of the federation plus FCT. So we can pick the best from the best. It's like it's, it's more like, like 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 trials to me. I see it as trials to get the best players. I'm players. I know yeah. they, they have para soccer yeah. there. Para but soccer athletes, is still part but, of it. But athletes is still mm, the, the dominance world, force. Yes, that will, that, will, that will pick and take them to Commonwealth and of course the para uh, Olympics in the next the next para Olympics. I, I love the fact that the minister of and sports on the diary uh, at least uh, opined that yes, it's possible that Nigeria can actually get a lot of mm. uh, para sportsmen and yes. women here that represent us at the Birmingham uh, Commonwealth Games that will be coming up June, July yes. or thereabout. And uh, we are also looking at uh, para Olympics. That is Paralympics now, yeah. where we can get the best of the best. Mm. Like you said, it's like a trials uh, for Nigeria uh, from the way it is now. Look at this. Uh, uh, Men and women, they are happy. They are here. Para soccer, uh, para swimming. You have uh, para table tennis. Oh no, not forgetting the deaf uh, sport. They will play football and all that. But I love the fact that yes, uh, they have a template now. Where they to because by next year they will have more. A lot of uh, not being the first time. A lot of people are like, is it going to hold or not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> those are that normal yes, pitches or yeah, thereabouts. They are not like I said. Seventeen states came out came around the first day. on the first day. And I'm not sure they're up to six now in the in, in, in camp. Probably maybe about 28 should be available now. So some state might not even come because maybe financial constraint mm. and uh, skepticism that would this actually be possible or something. But we, are, we, we I will not expect to see the full that six states and FCT in this first edition. Maybe going forward, the next editions. Uh, a lot of them begin to come. Because when they see the joy and yes. all the, the happenings yes. there. Yes. And if they see that the athletes are leaving that particular state to go to other states you know, to compete, so they might see the reason why they should send their own mm. athletes to. So, but just, so let's just give this. It's just it's a beautiful one. I felt very happy when I saw this athlete. I saw the joy that at least for, for once in, the, in this history of Nigeria that there's a game being organized for, the for para them, athletes. For them alone. Not that they are joining them with uh, a good, Body just men. for them alone, nationwide, mm. is, a, is, is, is a good one. The joy was, you could see the joy in their faces. At least, apart from the fact that they are, they are uh, representing their state, at least some change went out of their pocket as well, because most of them, this is what they do for, for, a living. for a living. 
and if there's nothing for them to do, they cannot take care of themselves mm. and take care of their family as well. Mm. We've been looking at the, para, uh, the first uh, national para sports uh, uh, festival taking place uh, in Abuja, the Mkewa Biola Stadium. Good one. There are kudos to the state uh, that at least uh, release form for these athletes to be here. And also the Federal Ministry of Youth and Sport, the LOC, Local Organizing Committee, who deem fit to at least uh, work together to see how this thing will actually work out. And we also need to appreciate the head of service and uh, get this approved. Uh, well, good one. We've been looking at the, uh, the first edition and hopefully it gets better. A lot of states now have joined the seventh state that uh, actually came on. Hopefully, it gets better. More is all be coming in. And now, let's move away from para athletics there. Let's talk about uh, football. Let's look at the national, Nigerian National League. Matches were played. And now, let's look at the uh, result coming from group, uh, group A1 in the Northern uh, Conference, where, well, uh, the way the table stand and also the results is actually joined together. You have Sokoto United against FWC champions, Mighty Jet, EFCC, Oya Sport uh, was a walkover. From ABS, they were uh, the three nil there. You be stars. Uh, it was nil against El Kalemi Warriors. Zamfara FC two, CTFC nil. And you look at the table. El Kalemi Warriors are topping with uh, 18 points, followed by CTFC of Abuja. Uh, they have the same point, but on goal difference of plus uh, eight and plus four. And you have ABS of Ilori, Sokoto United. Ubisoft stars, Mighty Jet of Jaws, EFCC. They are also there. They are standing seventh on the lot. That's also an Abuja team. Zamfara United, FWC champions, and Oya Sports are on the red zone. They need to work hard or harder if they are to stay in the NNL. But from the way it is, El Kanemi Warriors of my degree are standing top in Group A1 Northern Conference, Nigeria National uh, League, where you have a CTFC of Abuja second. But Jaws uh, um, uh, plus eight plus four goal difference. Now, let's look at uh, uh, group A A2 now, group A2 quickly, while we talk about uh, Jigawa Golden Stars are topping there with the green label, 16 point ahead of others. Malum Fashi FC, DMD uh, third. You have Doma United, Green Beret, Kogi United, Kebi, and you have Adamawa United also standing among the top as uh, one to eight. G uh, GM Liberty, Rose Safety, NAF FC uh, in the red zone. Well, the result there, Malunvashi FC, two, Duma United, one. Kebi United, they actually play goalless against Kogi, while NAF FC defeated Adamawa United, two nil. DMD, two, Le GM Liberty actually play nil there. Well, Green Beret, Nigerian Army team, the PUG Gawa Golden Star by a long goal. If you go to the Southern Conference, Southern Conference, uh, 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 talking about the result now in the Southern Conference, B1, we have uh, Bende Insurance 2, Jalan Brailers 1. Ikorodu United actually defeated Ikiti United by two goals to nil. Gateway United FC 1, Ibom Youth nil. Oshu United 1, J Atete FC nil. And you have Abel Kuta Stormers defeating Adoration FC 2 nil. Y Campos FC lost. 0-2 uh, to Van Dressa uh, FC in Lagos. The table is standing with uh, Gateway FC standing top there. Ben Dangerous are second, with just a point behind Gateway FC, 22-21. Ibom Youth of Aqua Ibom State there, they are standing top. Van Dressa, Giant Brailers, Ikorodu City, you have Abel Kuta Stormers, Oshu United FC, Adoration FC. Then in the red zone, those are the teams that are really need to up their game. AKT United, Campus FC, and J Atete are standing 10 to 12 on the log in the B1 Southern Conference. Let's look at B2, it's also in the Southern Conference, where uh, Inewi United, they play 100 against Wari Wolves, Otasolo FC 2, Crown FC 1. Uh, uh, Apex Crane 2, you have uh, Ijebu United also play 2-2 two, two there. Go Round FC defeated by Osa United by 2-1. Shinshaw FC against FC World is on hold while Sporting Lagos, they defeated Abia Comets 2-1 uh, in that game. The table, Go Round, are still topping there with 18 points. Two points ahead of Worry Wolves, who are standing second with 16 points. Sporting Lagos are third. You have uh, Rovers of Calabar, they are standing for there. Inewe United FC. Fifth, Ijebu United, sixth, Otasolo, Abia Comet, Crown FC of Gomosho, and FC One Rocket are standing nine and ten. Well, from uh, 11 to 13 is Biosa United, Apex Crane, and Sineshaw FC. Looking at uh, the Nigerian National League match day nine and ten in the Northern and Southern Conference, A1, A2, B1, and also 
uh, B2. Uh, Jide, when you look at this result on the table, uh, you look, uh, most uh, Abuja team now, the FCT teams uh, that are participating, CTFC seems to be having a very strong uh, uh, hold in their group A1. A1. But then uh, looking at that group A1, I will not expect uh, Academy Warriors with the fact that they've played at the MPFL before. They still have some MPFL players. Uh, these are players who have played at the MPFL. You have experience. experience not, to, not to top that group. So it would have been a disaster for me to see them probably at the mid-table. So against the CTFC, Abuja are uh, relatively a new club, hmm. per se. But and for them to have been second on the law by now, playing nine matches. It sh shows that so much investment is being put in them by the FCT uh, uh, for the, the old, FA, yes. to see that their club gets to, their aim is to get to play at the MPFL. Hmm. And I pray they do. At least we can be watching MPFL matches at least in uh, Abuja. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's a good one for me uh, to see that Academy Warriors, of course, they are topping their... Uh, their group. You don't want an Abidjan team to be topping. <laughs> yes, they, they can, of course they can still top, but I will not expect anything less mm, from El Academy, Academy World because, because of the experience. experience. They've been MPFL before. Yes. So I would have loved CTF seats, of course, but it's, it's will, still open. The matches still, are still yeah, ongoing. Still, but so. I don't expect uh, Warriors to draw their guards for uh, CTFC. You would have loved CTFC, but speaking as uh, a journalist now, mm. uh, Academy World, with all the areas of stars, they have their stars in quotes. And experience, they should, they should not do um, uh, poorly. Okay, now we're still talking, looking at the way the table is standing. Most of Abuja teams that have FWC champions are on ninth, Oya Sport are on tenth, EFCC on seventh. For, for we have four teams from Abuja. For there. the FWC, okay, though it's owned by a church, mm -hmm. uh, though I know they're trying to recruit same players from uh, different sources, but uh, I will still give them that benefit of doubt to you know they need to work on getting quality players. Uh, and see how they can improve their standing on the table and get up to at least so they can play at NLO next season. If not, they'll drop down to NLO and all that. So uh, it's at least it's good that I've seen some uh, some uh, Abuja clubs doing well at the, at the Northern Conference, though FWC is not doing well. <laughs> okay, we roll it to uh, A2 now uh, quickly. Let's look at A2 as uh, we're looking at the chances of teams. Uh, Jigawa Golden Stars also, they've been at NPFL. So, so the, the, most, the experience is still counting. It, 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 it must count. It must count. Yes, I know that Jigawa Golden Stars, they lost about three or four players. You know, when, when they got relegated, they, they went to other clubs. But still, the fact that the bulk of their players played at the NPFL gives them that, that opportunity, that experience over all other teams who have not played at the NPFL, except none in this particular league, a particular conference has played at the NPFL. So, uh, so they don't have to be top, they right? don't have any excuse not to top that particular conference. Okay, now if you roll it to uh, Southern Conference B1, you still look at also that uh, uh, most of the teams are actually uh, topping. Gateway FC, you know how, <laughs> how experienced they are too. With, of course. You check Bender Insurance too. I'm shocked. Bender Insurance, the, uh, the beginning Arsenal, of course, led by Captain Echoibu, uh, the Deputy Governor, mm. is already is their captain. And, uh, they are truly with a point, 22-21. Yes, and uh, we know how it is between Better Insurance and Gateway. They will fight to the end. And uh, it's, it's, still, it's, it's still very open since it's just a, a, a point uh, separating them and all that. So we will see other pounds out towards the end of the season. AKT United, Campus FC, GITT uh, FC. Uh, AKT United can still escape, uh, can still escape if, they do their, if they play their games very well. But I'm glad to see uh, Gator United doing well against uh, better insurance. Okay, let's roll it to B2, some other conference uh, where we've been looking at uh, the chances of all the teams participating in the competition. Uh, we have uh, Go Round FC, at least uh, they still have a friend who they were there. So, <laughs> yes, and uh, Worry Wolves. And Worry Wolves as well, too. It's also at least. I'm shocked at Bayesa United. Bayesa um, United, yes. look at what they did at the uh, ITO Cup yes, and all that. I'm actually shocked that they are battling. Struggling, they are struggling. 11th on the log. We know how they performed, how they, how, what they did during the ITO Cup finals and everything. Of course, they won the ITO Cup. Yes. So I'm shocked that they are battling, battling now. With the kind of, oh no, something's wrong somewhere. Mm. But that's, that's football. That's football. That's We've been football. looking at uh, NNL there. Let's roll it. So the MPFL, the Apex uh, League in Nigeria, 
well, matches were played, about uh, seven goals were scored just during the weekend. Let's look at those results on Sunday, where Lobby Stars was goalless against Kano Pillars, uh, Aimba 2, and Ugu Rangers 1. Uh, it was uh, at least a big one. You have Sunshine Star against Abia Warriors, Nuggets Nados, Wiki Torres, MFM against uh, Dakada 2-0. Uh, you look at this particular scenario where uh, these matches were played, you'll be wondering what happened between Aimba and Ugu Rangers. Uh, that, <laughs> in that a big was, one. That was the Oriental Derby. It's one of the biggest the biggest games we have uh, when it comes to MPFL. Mm. And I'm glad for Aimba to have able to come back to the winning race against Enrique Rangers. So it was, it was a bit of a game that they came back and of course they got the, all, the maximum points. But I'm happy for MFM, at, at least, least being able to defeat Dakada. And again, for MFM, we are, we are battling relegation as well too. At least probably this will give them some little, maybe they prayed and they fasted and all that. And uh, so their <laughs> prayers are being answered right now for them to get the maximum points. Mm. And probably they might escape relegation. Good one. Let's quickly look at the table before we wrap it up. Uh, the way the table is standing now. Yes, uh, Rivers Angels are still uh, topping there with 46 points, followed by Plateau United and Rangers. Uh, they lost against Aimba, but they are standing tall there. Aimba are now seventh on the lock with 32 points. And you have uh, Aqua United standing ninth on the lock. Nasarawa tenth. Uh, matches will also be coming up well, as we know that uh, uh, well, both of these teams will still try to see how they can better their lot for Rivers. Is a good one for them. Yes, yes. They seem to be holding tight to that first position and they're not willing to drop their guard uh, down. But then uh, it's, it's still the, the top two is almost it's almost done between the uh, Rivers United and Plato United as it is. Uh, but then other from the third position to the eighth position, any of them can, even Wiki Torres can still come to the top position. Hmm. It's just seven points difference between the third and the eighth. Uh, and the eighth, for, for the way it is right now, it's still open because uh, the third 37 to 30, even 29, 28 is still very open. open. So this is in so far, MPV has been so competitive and we've been looking at that uh, where a lot of clubs are really just need to see who tops that league. Rivers United are topping, Plateau United are following, and Rangers International and all the big boys are really making uh, their point. But for this season so far, very, very competitive. It's been a wonderful time with uh, Gideo Nushola. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. Good one out there. Well, we continue to at least give you the best when it comes to sport on 360 Sport on Trust TV. I am Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.